Hi, I'm Coach D. Shen, based in the San Francisco Bay Area. Today, I just thought I'd spend a few more minutes talking about um, something that I brought up in the new recovery video, this concept of using the recovering arm to drive you and momentum forward, okay? We often, when we teach swimming, we're always focused on uh, the, the stroking arm catching and pushing water back as the main component of propulsion. Uh, yes, it's important, um, but as you may uh, notice that when we teach often in our classes uh, that um, we tell people to de-emphasize that because oftentimes if we don't, then they keep focusing on it and they cannot fully develop the use of the recovering arm's momentum to generate uh, propulsion as well as the, uh, the rest of their body, okay, as we teach uh, with a 2B kick. So, um, uh, Something, uh, a DVD that I highly recommend is uh, Freestyle Reimagined uh, by Bill Boomer. Um, you can find it in the uh, video notes. Uh, they, he talks about this, which is a great concept, and I didn't get it until uh, I actually uh, had to adjust my recovery to be able to generate that momentum uh, large enough so that it could actually make a tremendous difference in my forward propulsion. So, um, we already, if you've been teach, uh, if you've been working on the 2B kick, know that uh, we get to about here. The arm, uh, the hand drops in the water. As that happens, my you probably can't see my leg cocking right now down here. It is cocking, and as I rotate, I am using my body and my hips to drive that lead arm forward. I flip the toe, and that gives a little bit more momentum uh, to shoot. The, the spearing arm forward, okay? Um, and then this guy will do just naturally what it wants to do, which is to push the water back. Um, <clears throat> so now, adding to those elements, we want to use this nice massive arm that we have, generating all that momentum from the finish, momentum forward, swinging around, and then adding with the proper timing into that movement of entering into the water, twisting the body, kicking right at the end to give that little bit of uh, rotational energy to generate, uh, to, to launch the spearing arm forward, okay? So now we have kick, hip, body rotation, hips to the body, torso, shoulders, as well as gravity, we talk about gravity a lot, where we let the hand drop and relax and let it fall into the water. There's an acceleration due to gravity as gravity takes the hand and, and shoots it forward. But now we also add forward momentum of that recovering arm to drag the body, add momentum of the arm to the body, right, uh, to make it go forward even faster with a little bit more uh, emphasis. Okay, so down. So, as you practice new recovery, uh, it may seem awkward to kind of get that motion, although you build, may be able to get that arm coming forward very fast. Then the important part is, how do I adjust that into the timing of my whole body, my kick, my hips rotation, torso, shoulder rotation, gravity taking that arm down, uh, not forcing it forward, but letting gravity take it and accelerate it forward, uh, as well as that momentum of, that, of the arm swinging forward from recovery into the water. Okay, so again, kick to hips, to torso, to shoulders, to gravity, taking the arm down into the water. And now we're adding this fast swinging recovery arm. Boom, nice and loose. Adding that to the stack of momentum that we're generating from the whole body uh, into generating momentum. Okay, uh, so I encourage you to try that. Work on the new recovery uh, first. Try to get that uh, going as best you can. Then um, once you get that, then you know, start working on how do I add that momentum into the timing of the rest of the elements of the 2B kick, kick hips, torso, shoulder rotation, gravity as well. Okay, give it a shot and let me know if you have any questions in the comments.